this is what we're making today. Sakura Shrimp Crackers. We're going to begin with 200 grams of shrimp. We're going to take this and blanch it for a minute in hot water. Shrimp cooks quite fast, so after one minute, we're going to take it out of the water, strain it, and put it into a blender. Once in the blender, we're going to puree it until it's a smooth paste. Adding a little bit of the blanching water with the shrimp will help it turn into a smoother paste. Next, we're going to take our shrimp and add it into 300 grams of potato starch. Along with it, we're going to add in 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, and 100 milliliters of water. Now, with the 100 milliliters of water, I add in 4 drops of red food coloring. I'm also adding in the water little by little so that the dough doesn't get too wet. I added the water in 3 stages, and once all the water has been added in, the dough should still hold its shape. We're going to mix and knead this until we form our dough. Once our dough is formed, we're going to place it on top of saran wrap. We're going to encase the dough with saran wrap and then form it into a log. Once the log shape is formed, we're going to take the edges of the saran wrap, twist it, and then constantly roll it. By constantly rolling it, it will tighten up the log, giving us a perfect cylindrical shaped dough. And once we've achieved the perfect shape, we're going to tie the edges and then put this in the fridge for 30 minutes just so that it holds its shape. After 30 minutes in the fridge, the dough should have held its shape. We're now going to carefully unwrap this dough and then place it into a steamer and cook it off for about 1 hour. Make sure you put a plate or parchment paper in the steamer where you're going to place the dough on so that it doesn't stick when it's done cooking. After 1 hour of steaming, the dough should have doubled in size. This is when you know that it's cooked all the way through, and this is a very important step. If the dough doesn't gelatinize all the way through, it will not puff up later when we fry it. I rest the dough in the fridge for about 30 minutes, just so that it'll solidify a little bit and make it easier to cut. We're going to cut this as thin as we can, about a millimeter or two thick. Now, you can't cut this too thick or it won't cook all the way through. But you also have to take into account that when we dehydrate this, it will shrink. I found that this cut size or thinner is best. Next, we're going to place these chips in a dehydrator. Now if you don't have a dehydrator, you can just place it under the sun for about 2 days. Since I don't have that much time, I bought a dehydrator and I'm dehydrating this at 125 degrees Fahrenheit for 6 hours. After 6 hours, this is what it looks like. It should have shrunk quite a bit. The dough is no longer soft and gelatinous, but in fact it's quite hard. It's very dry. We're now going to throw this in the fryer at 375 degrees Fahrenheit and fry it for about 30 seconds to a minute. I'm holding it down with a chopstick to try to keep the chip as straight as possible. I found that if you just leave it alone, it creates very random shapes. Guys, a very important note here, the chip has to be completely dry when you throw it into the fryer. If it's still a little bit moist, it will not puff up like this. And again, after 30 seconds of frying, it's ready to be seasoned and consumed. Now we're going to try cooking it 3 at a time. Honestly, if you have a big fryer, you could probably just throw it all in at once and it'll all puff up at the same time. The best time to eat these crackers is right after it's fried. But be careful to not leave this out at room temperature where it's exposed to air or it will go stale after about 2 hours. If you're not going to eat it all right away, 
Just put it in a Ziploc bag and then keep it in room temperature. These things can last for days as long as it's not exposed to humidity. I also found that though they are done after 30 seconds, that if you fry it longer, like let's say about a minute and a half to two minutes, it is much lighter in texture. But that being said, also be careful of not burning it. So when you start seeing it change in color, it's time to take it out. And as a final step, right when it comes out of the fryer, we're going to quickly season it with salt so that it sticks to the chip and then let it rest on a rack or paper towel to get rid of the oil. Now let's plate. Alright, let me show you guys how crispy this turned out. Take a look. It's light, it's crispy, and it's very shrimpy. For this recipe, it was 40% shrimp and 60% potato starch. If you want a much lighter chip, you can reduce the amount of shrimp and just add more starch. But I would not recommend adding more shrimp and less starch or you just won't have a good chip. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. And smash that like button for the algorithm.